Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Aisha Ibrahim. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, praised the victory of Rocket Rindi of Team Victorious and coming in first place in the Sundown race course in Britain, which extends for over 1,000 meters. His Highness Sheikh Nasser emphasized that this result confirms the successful march of Team Victorious in the European horse racing events, indicating that the coordination with the Dragon Stake title will be an incentive in the team to continue their international achievements. Sheikh Nasser expressed his appreciation for the outstanding efforts made by coach George Scott in preparing Rocket Rondi to reap this victory, praising in this regard the high potentials possessed by jockey Daniel Mask and wishing success for the team in the upcoming participations. The Minister of Labour, Jamil Mohammed Ali Hamedan, I urged employers to implement Decree Number 3 of 2013 regarding a ban on afternoon work in open spaces throughout Bahrain, which came into force today from noon until 4 p.m. throughout July and August. The decision is in line with Bahrain's concern to protect workers from occupational diseases and injuries, especially during the summer's searing temperatures and high humidity. He said that the ministry will closely monitor the implementation of the decision by around 30,000 companies and establishments. A number of inspection teams from the Ministry of Labour will conduct field monitoring tours on the targeted sites. The ministry inspection teams will verify the violations and take the necessary measures in this regard. Under the auspices of the Chairman of the Shura Council and Speaker of the Representatives Council, a symposium entitled Parliaments and Community Partnership was held via video conference, coinciding with the celebration of the International Day of Parliamentary Action, which falls on June 30 each year. In a speech, the Minister of Social Development, Osama al Asfur, stressed the importance of the Bahraini youth having an active presence in the decision-making process in order to face the challenges that may arise in the international community, noting in this extent that the symposium organized by the Shura and Representatives Council is an important initiative and an opportunity to review successful experiences in the areas of joint cooperation between youth and the National Council. For his part, member of the Shura Council's Service Committee, Sabah Dosari, noted that the Shura Council's continuous keenness to communicate with civil society institutions in order to obtain their views on many legislations to crystallize the appropriate legislative position. MP Ammar Ghambar, a member of the Service Committee and the Representatives Council, affirmed that the community partnership is a civilized uh, value that stems uh, from the comprehensive reform project of his Majesty the King and an affirmation of the permanent interest of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister that the community partnership will be within the government's work program. Member of the Commission and Head of the Committee on Public Rights and Freedoms of the National Human Rights Committee, Dr. Fawziya Al Saleh, indicated that participation in the symposium comes in the belief in the necessity of establishing a broad a partnership with all sectors of Bahraini society to achieve the vision and mission of the National Institution for Human Rights. Major Mohammed Al Hirmi from the Ministry of Interior stressed that the community partnership has become a culture and a feature of the kingdom in all its institutions based on the approach of his majesty the king and the interest of his royal highness the crown prince and prime minister President of the Supreme Council of Health, SCH, Lieutenant General Dr. Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdullah Al Khalifa asserted that the efforts developed in the health system in the kingdom so as to be able to deliver the best services to the citizens and residents will continue unabated in line with the wise directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the follow-up of the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. He indicated that the kingdom's health system will continue bringing about more achievements appraising the ongoing coordination among various health sectors and stress the importance of carrying on the efforts to implement the project that falls under the National Health Insurance Programme, Sahati. 
He made the statement while patronizing the launch ceremony of the Sahati card at the Halat Bumahir Health Center in Muharraq. In the presence of Health Minister Dr. Jalila Jawad Hassan, Board of Trustees Chairman of the Primary Health Care Centers, Dr. Mohammed Abdul Wahab Mohammed, and a number of officials. He said that the inauguration of the Sahati card is part of the implementation of the health insurance and autonomy system in line with the National Health Plan 2016 to 2025 endorsed by the Cabinet. It, noting that during this phase, the Sahati card will be distributed to those affiliated with the Muharrig Health Centers in which the Choose Your Doctor scheme is implemented. Later, the cards will be rolled out nationwide. The Health Minister Dr. Jalila praised the great and fruitful role played by the SCH to achieve the aspirations of the health sector in the Kingdom, stressing the importance of activating all programs and plans aimed at enhancing the efficiency of the health sector. She praised the launch of the Sahati card, affirming that the move aims to develop the institutional structure of the health system so as to be more competitive in terms of quality. The CHEB enabled Sahati card contains the patient's medical history, test results, a diagnosis, and prescription details. It protects their privacy, guarantees access to all primary healthcare services, and eases the transfer of patient records between public and private sectors, where the information will be encrypted and can only be read by physicians. The Kingdom of Bahrain participated in a high-level meeting to improve road safety, which was held at the United Nations headquarters in New York. The delegation of the Kingdom of Bahrain participating in the meeting was headed by the Under Secretary of the Ministry of Interior, member of the Advisory Board of the United Nations Road Safety Fund, Sheikh Nasser bin Abdurrahman Al Khalifa. In his speech, he stressed that the Kingdom of Bahrain's interest in enhancing traffic safety and supporting all efforts that would raise the level of road safety through the continuous development of the traffic system and raising awareness among road users to abide by traffic regulations and rules. He stressed the Kingdom's keenness uh, through the concerned agencies to develop strategic plans and programs to raise awareness in spreading traffic culture among road users, noting that this comprehensive strategy achieved a decrease in traffic accident deaths and injuries by 60% from the year 2008 to 2021. He pointed out that Bahrain is continuing to implement this strategy to raise traffic safety rates. The Bahrain Tourism and Exhibitions Authority has announced the performance of tourism indicators for the first quarter of 2022 compared to the first quarter of 2021, according to statistics published by the Information and E-Government Authority. Statistics showed that the Kingdom of Bahrain recorded an increase in the number of tourist arrivals by 984% during the first quarter of this year, attracting about 1.7 million tourists in the first three months of the year compared to 152,000 visitors in the first quarter of last year. The statistics also shows an increase in inbound tourism revenues to the kingdom to 292 million Bahraini dinars and a significant increase in the rate of inbound tourism flows according to the port of arrival where the percentage of tourists arriving through Bahrain International Airport recorded a 147% increase. These positive results of the tourism sector confirm that the Kingdom is moving in the right direction in implementing economic recovery plan programs and the success of the initiatives implemented by the Bahrain Tourism and Exhibitions Authority. The Medical Committee of the Kingdom of Bahrain Hajj Mission inaugurated the mission's medical clinic in the Nasim district in the holy city of Mecca. The medical team started its duties following the opening of the clinic with its various cadres to receive all Bahraini pilgrims. In this regard, the Medical Committee stressed to make every effort to provide high-quality health and treatment services to Bahraini pilgrims and to work as a team to serve the pilgrims and provide them with the necessary care. 
The Speaker of the Arab Parliament, Adil bin Abdurrahman al Asumi, called on the parliamentary network of the non aligned movement to support all Arab and international efforts to reach a final political settlement for the crises in the Arab region. Al Asumi stressed the need for the movement to reject all foreign interventions that contribute to fueling conflicts. He also called for the inclusion of the Palestinian causes as a fixed item on the agenda of the parliamentary network of the non aligned movement. This came during the participation of the Speaker of the Arab Parliament in the first conference of the Parliamentary Network of the Non-Aligned Movement, which was hosted by the Republic of Azerbaijan in the capital Baku in the presence of President Ilham Aliyev of the Republic of Azerbaijan. The speaker delivered a speech in which he stressed the importance of upholding the 10 principles of the 1955 Bandung Conference, which formed a major starting point for the establishment of the movement, foremost of which the respect for the sovereignty and territorial integrity of all countries. First Deputy Chairman of the Shura Council, Jamal Mohamed Fakhro, on behalf of the Shura Council Chairman and Representatives Council Speaker, welcomed the holding of the next meeting of the Parliamentary Network of the Non-Alliyan Movement Conference in Bahrain on the sidelines of the 146th Assembly of the Interparliamentary Union, IPU, to be hosted by the Kingdom in March 2023. Fakhro affirmed keenness to ensure the success of the Parliamentary Network of the Non-Alliyan Movement Conference and uh, to achieve its goals while addressing the parliamentary network of the Non-Aligned Movement Conference held in Baku. Azerbaijan underlined the theme under the theme of boosting the role of national parliament in promoting global peace and sustainable development. Fakhro reiterated the kingdom's full support for the goals of the Non-Aligned Movement, which he said seeks to safeguard global peace and security. He asserted that under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa, Bahrain seeks to promote a cooperation and collective action among various countries to strengthen the pillars of security and stability across the world. The first deputy chairman of the Shura Council affirmed that the kingdom backs achieving the concepts of peaceful coexistence among different nations and peoples, adhering to the principles of good neighborliness and non-interference in the internal affairs of others, and staying away from hostile uh, policies that would destabilize regional and global security in line with the founding principles of the non-aligned movement, praising the important role of the movement in addressing challenges to peace, security and sustainability development. In his statement, Fakhro also expressed full support for all issues backed by the non-aligned movement, foremost of which is the just Palestinian cause, highlighting the right of the Palestinian people to establish an independent state on the 1967 borders in addition to combating extremism and terrorism. He also reiterated commitment to supporting the Arab coalition to support legitimacy in Yemen, so in order to safeguard security and stability in brotherly Yemen. Thousands of pilgrims started arriving in the holy city of Mecca in Saudi Arabia today, among some one million Muslims expected to attend the 2022 Hajj pilgrimage season, after two years of major disruption caused by the COVID-19 pandemic. Saudi Arabia, home to Islam's holiest sites in Mecca and Medina, allowed back foreign travelers this year to perform the Hajj. Only a few thousand Saudi citizens and residents attended the annual pilgrimage in the last two years as COVID-19 wrecked half across a global economy and curtailed a travel. However, authorities have said only one million people can join the 2022 season, less than half of pre-pandemic levels, and access is restricted to pilgrims aged 18 to 65 who have been fully vaccinated or immunized against the virus and do not suffer from chronic diseases. Saudi Arabia's Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud announced national aspirations and priorities for research, development and innovation sector that aims to enhance the kingdom's competitiveness locally on, and on a global scale. The two decade-long aspirations include development in health, environmental sustainability, leadership in energy and industry and investment in future economies in line with Vision 2030 to achieve these goals.
The research, development and innovation sector has been restructured with the formation of a higher committee led by the Crown Prince that will enable legislation and regulatory standards in addition to projects and budget allocation and performance monitoring. Saudi Arabia also aims to become a global leader in innovation with annual spending targets in the sector of 2.5% of the country's GDP by 2040, thereby adding nearly 16 billion US dollars to the GDP by the same target year.